Good evening, uh, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ian. And I'm Jane. We forgot to do that in the last video. We are having a bit of a moment, weren't we? Uh -huh. Anyway, I had to put the names in. Um, we've just been seeing our first proper show of 2023 Edinburgh Fringe, and that was... And it's, bear with us, it's never trouble trouble till trouble troubles you. And this uh, was out at the, I was going to say Tyne, Tyne, Tyne side again, it's not Tyne side, Tyne Castle Football Stadium. Tyne Castle Park. Tyne Castle Park, which is a bus ride away really from the centre of Edinburgh. But no, we, have, we have walked it and yeah, it's Yeah, and it's a, short, it's a short bus ride, it's about 20 minutes, yep. a bit longer. 30 to 40 minutes, would you say, if you walk it? Yes. Yeah. yeah. It depends how fast you walk, really. And um, this is the third time that we've been out to Tynecastle Park uh, to see one of these productions. And these are productions by, um, actually, it just says Tynecastle Park Hearts Museum uh, as, as the venue. Oh, there's two ha it's the Two Halves production. Mm. Um, we first saw them two years ago where we saw uh, Sweet F.A., which was a brilliant production. We then went back last year and saw uh, A War of Two Halves, which again was another brilliant production. Fantastic. And that's partly why we've picked to go again tonight, um, because we were expecting great things. But we'll get on to that. Yeah. Uh, oh, that makes it sound... <laughs> Sound well. That sounded a bit negative. No, no, it wasn't it's not, negative. No. It's not negative. Here's a spoiler. We loved it. Um, right. Shall I read the blurb, or do you want to read the yeah, blurb? Yeah, no, no, Have no. You, you've got the program. Well, Is I've got the, the program. Um, Go for the program then. I, well, I don't think. Um, has he got anything? No. Right, okay. No, so uh, this is off the Fringe website. So, what makes a football hero? What makes a hero a legend? Locality, loyalty, skill. Players like Bobby Walker appear once in a generation. From an Edinburgh boy having a kickabout in, I, I want to say Geordie, it's not Geordie, it's Gordy, isn't yeah, it? Gorgie. Gorgie, Gorgie, Gorgie. sorry. Um, for our Scottish fans, apologies for my pronunciation. For pronunciations. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm rubbish at it at best. I can only just speak English. Um, to the heart of Middle Odeon star uh, and the most capped Scottish international of the time. This is his remarkable story and his mother's, performed with live music from the producers of A War of Two Halves, we said about that, and then we've got some five-star reviews from the other productions. Um, we don't want to give too much away. Um, it's actually in the Tyne Castle Park Hearts Museum. Now, the previous productions, the first production we saw they built a little stage at the side of the, the football pitch, which is where they did Sweet FA. Last time, we actually were lots of venues around Tynecastle Park, including the um, changing, changing room. rooms, which was felt brilliant to go in the changing rooms and have a scene in there. Um, this time, we were in the museum, which we hadn't been in before. No. You know, and it was all, although to be fair, it started in the bar. It started in the bar with the song. We were then led through to the, to where the museum is. Um, and, so, then, and then we, that's where we were. And that's where we were for the whole thing. Uh, sat sort of in the round, really. Mm -hmm. um, it's a two-person play. You've got the, who, yes, who the yeah. actual so the performers are. two performers were Paul Beeson, who actually wrote it yeah. as well. Uh, and produced it uh, along with Bruce Strachan, um, directed by Bruce Strachan, and he played a few parts. And Nikki Old, she played several parts even as well. Even more parts. Yeah, even yeah, more parts. Yeah, yeah. Um, and they use a device, which we're not going to tell you no what spoilers. it is, um, to tell. The story yeah um, and it's basically the bobby walker story yeah now which I, is incredibly effective can i just say yeah which we are agreed on yeah i know very little about football as a growing up i enjoyed football but then I'll, i i found music in girls and wasn't really interested in football anymore so i'm i i know more about the history of time castle park through these plays than of any other football team <laughs> sure. In Britain, I think, really. Um, and I've, I've sort of taken the place to my heart, really. I don't know how you feel about that. Yeah. yeah. Um, 
Um, so what was your thoughts? I loved it. It's, we both, interestingly, because we realised it was a two, uh, when I say two-hander, you know, it's because there are two performers. <clears throat> so, oh, you know, there's not a sort of group playing it and that's what we've been used to. But it doesn't detract whatsoever no, it was from the story that is unfolds, um, his story, the way it's performed. The, I mean, it, all the facts and figures, um, his life story, um, the relevant parts that come out, are just told in such an amazing way that you completely forget that you're watching sort of two people, um, y you are completely immersed in the stories. And can I say as sort of, you know, two outsiders, yeah, in inverted yeah. commas, I mean, two, two English. sitting in, in, a, in a group, I mean, it was sold out tonight, yeah. in a group of, um, I mean, all I can say predominantly, is... I would say predominantly, um, I know he said Hibs. Oh, that would be that. no, 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 no. no. We're, we're going to come back to Hibs. Um, uh, uh, predominantly, I, I think uh, uh, a lot of uh, Heart of Middle Odium fans. Oh gosh, without question. You know, I mean, whether they were a hundred percent minus two, I yeah, we were the we two. We don't know. We, we don't, don't know. know. But I would have said ninety, ninety-five percent, and to be sitting in a in a room that. People, the grins, the smiles yeah, on yeah. people's faces, <clears throat> and the way that they reacted to um, certain things that were obviously, you know, a particular to hearts and this obviously this long running rivalry between, between them and uh, Hibs yeah, was just yeah. wonderful to I, be part of. I have I to mean, say, I didn't whoop when they mentioned that uh, Scotland, that um, <coughs> the beat, Scotland beat England yeah. 4 0, I think it was. Because <laughs> we must say, this was uh, it, the beginning of it is set in 1930, which is. Um, and then it goes backwards. So, so that's the sort of time scale we were in yeah. from when um, Bobby was a lad playing in the street and getting his getting his first uh, yeah. uh, to his first football team, yeah. uh, and and then through. But you his really life. feel that you feel, you you follow his life, like you said, from when he was a young boy, how his career progressed, mm. and what happened to him afterwards. And that's all we need to say yeah. on that. Um, and it was the feeling in the room, it was just a very... It was joyous. It was a magical yeah. experience yeah, it was. Um, yeah. to, to, to just be part of a production. Um, I it mean, was, we weren't part of the production, no, but, but, but witnessing yeah. that production. The songs um, were great. It yeah. was funny. It, it's yeah. very, it, you know, it's very funny all the way through. Uh, certainly past the six laugh test. Uh, the, it was brilliantly acted by both. You yeah, know. both. Um, and it, I thought it was a stunning piece of work, really. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, as we have come to expect from this production absolutely. company. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, um, it was just, yeah, the third yeah. fantastic production yeah. that we have seen. Um, I mean, is there more that we can say? Not really. Not really. No. Um, What's it, what is interesting, it's 150 years of uh, Heart of Middle Odin next year, and they are doing another production next year about the whole of the 150 years, because we were talking to the producer just as we were leaving. Uh, and how they're going to do that, I don't know, but we will be back to yeah, see that production. Yeah, yeah. And we would um, just recommend it yeah. as, a, as an experience. I mean, as a theatrical experience, you cannot get any better than this. No. Um, and it's, you know, it's part of, it's what The Fringe is all about. Yeah, it is, it's actually, um, couldn't it's, worth, it's it definitely worth the bus enough. ride, you know, uh, oh, and, that, yeah. and that's actually part of it, is to actually go out and, yeah. uh, and, and be at the, at yeah. this, at the, this yeah. you know, that's iconic, what, iconic football stadium. Because that's where it happened. Yeah, yeah. You know, his and story, it, that's where it happened. What we didn't realise till the end, because we're obviously in the museum and it's not just, you know, um, but we were sat right in front of um, the, the 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 one of Bobby's caps. Yeah, yeah. One of his his his, his, his Scotland. I said, no, it's in England. 
God forbid, God. one of his Scottish caps, and the, and it was the footballs there that he played with, and the trophies, and it was just it, it was really magical. Yeah, it's, I mean, and definitely worth worth the trip. And and I would like to sort of reiterate, though I think you've got got it from what yeah. you said, that even if you think, well, I I don't like football, I yeah, no, I'm, I'm I'm, football. I don't like football, but forget that. Yeah, it's not about forget football. That. Don't. It, yeah. it's just, it is, but but you can enjoy it on a whole different level. Yeah, it's it's a it's a it's about it's about sto it's the storytelling really, isn't yeah. it? Of it yeah. and 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 how it's well crafted as actors yeah. and yeah. and and just yeah, fan and, and fantastic. How, and how fantastic that they're all all these stories that are associated with with this with football Tiger. team, you and know. and you know, and that they've had the vision to actually do productions based out there where mm. they happened. I mm. mean, it, it's very special. The, I mean, actually the producer, I didn't, I didn't get his name, it's probably in there, but he did say that they're bringing, for Amherst Day this year, they're bringing back uh, a war of two halves. So if you're, any, if you're anywhere near Scotland, around, that, around yeah. next November, and we will repost, we'll re-edit and repost our, um, our review of a war of two half go see that as well so whenever this this production company does stuff our advice is go see it because it's definitely, absolutely not definitely. just when the fringe is on no. they're obviously doing things when they you know yeah when they've got other other time to do things um and actually i think he was sort of hinting that that might be the last time that the show show war well, of two we can't but yeah. we can't say for yeah, certain can't say for but certain. certainly if you can if you can go see that mm. uh, in in november um it's on uh, it's on at two times uh, it's on at three o'clock in the afternoon and seven o'clock i'll put the actual it's not every day because that's to do with the football ground and uh, he was also saying it was quite late to know when some of the the shows are actually on so check the fringe diary uh, fringe the fringe uh, website more than probably more than the the paper version because they, they might not all be in yeah, there yeah i don't know I um certainly the red ones are this completely sold out yes he said there was yeah, yeah. Sold out. so they yeah. are definitely sold out 7th 8th and 11th tonight was the first night and I'll, I'll put up when all the rest of them are the little the little banner thing so you can see when it's actually on um how many stars although i don't have to ask five definitely five stars it's absolutely brilliant yeah definitely go see it if you can if you come into edinburgh uh, and it, the last show will be the 28th of the one so it's pretty much on off and on all the way through the fringe um so go if you can because it's absolutely fantastic yeah okay so uh i can't remember what we're doing tomorrow we've got, th oh, we've four, got about four or five we've got we've got a full day tomorrow we've got one more showcase which is the space showcase and then with paper James spreadsheet paper, paper spreadsheet, spreadsheet. Um, um yeah I'm we've got one just... two three four five we're doing five things tomorrow yeah, so it's a pretty much on a full on day tomorrow. Um, first one's about half eleven and all that. Yeah, yeah. So we'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Hope you're well. So thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you want to ding that little bell and subscribe, you can do all that if you want to, but you don't have to. <laughs> Just tells you when we when we when we're back. See you tomorrow. Cheers. Cheers. Bye bye. 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 God, the bloody mics work. Yeah. A couple of times I caught myself looking at the light because it was distracting and not looking at the camera. <laughs>